So what is rubber? Well, rubber is the broad name for various polymers that are all elastomers. What is an elastomer? Elastomers are a natural or synthetic polymer which have elastic properties. For example, polyisoprene or natural rubber, polybutadiene, polyisobutylene, and polyurethanes. Oh, so like bouncy balls, rubber bands, and erasers? Exactly. And when you bounce rubber, it is stretched and the entropy is disrupted. Entropy is disorder, right? And it's what the universe prefers? Yeah, yeah, that's right. So normally rubber has high entropy except when it's stretched and you force the molecules to line up in the pull directions. And when you let go, the rubber returns back into its normal shape and back to high entropy. So is rubber natural or synthetic? Both. Natural rubber is made from naturally occurring latex and there are up to 200 plants in the world that can produce latex. Most natural rubber comes from a tree species called Havia brasiliensis, more commonly known as the rubber tree. I just looked up that synthetic rubber is made in chemical plants using petrochemicals. Neoprene is made by the chemical reaction between acetylene and hydrochloric acid. There is also emulsion styrene butadiene, which is commonly used in tires. Yeah, rubber is everywhere. Rubber has been used for thousands of years for a variety of different reasons. Did you know the first human use of rubber was in Mesoamerica in the late 1400s to 1500s by the Olmec tribe? It was used to make rubber balls for a culturally significant ball game, Pock the Pock. I did. It was also later used by Maya and Aztec cultures for other ball games and also making containers and waterproofing items. The first time rubber was introduced in Europe was in France in 1736 by Charles Marie de la Condamine. Rubber was given its name after Joseph Priestley in England in 1770 observed and wrote about the effectiveness of rubber to rub pencil marks off of paper. In 1839, Charles Goodyear developed a process called vulcanization, which is a chemical process of converting natural rubber into a harder, more durable form by heating it with sulfur to help support extreme temperatures. And then right before World War II, rubber was being used indoors for windows, hoses, belts, matting, flooring, and in the automotive industry for tires and anti-vibration mounts. It was also used for gloves, toys, adhesives, rubber bands, and erasers. But rubber really blew up when it started being used commercially during the Industrial Revolution. Yeah, the big rubber boom was credited to the popularization of bicycles in the late 1800s and was expanded by the automobile industry post-1900s. Rubber has seriously impacted many industries, such as the tire, shoe, eraser, pencil, medical, and toy industry. The tire industry impacts bikes and cars, and rubber is used in the medical industry due to its low cost and high accessibility. Rubber really is used everywhere. Rubber really is used by people a lot. Without it, I'm sure we'd have a lot less fun inventions, like sports, cars, and most importantly, erasers for my chemistry tests.